Hello, welcome to Berkshire Guitar and to Fire Repairs. Stuart Smith with you as always. And uh, a quick video today about how to bias the orange Rockerverb 50 Mark III. I won't waffle on, let's just get straight into it and find out how to bias this amp. Right, here we are inside the amp and the bits that you need to know are as follows. There are two multi-turn preset pots here and here. These are the ones that adjust the bias, one for one valve, one for the other. So unusually you can uh, balance the, the uh, valves with this. It's anti-clockwise to increase the bias and clockwise to increase it. Now to measure the bias there are two 1 ohm resistors. Here's one here, look, and the other one is here. They are R100, this one here, and R102, this one here. They're 1 ohm, and these are in the tails of the, uh, of the valve. So that's in the cathode of the V1, the first power valve, and that's in the cathode of V2, the second power valve. Now the reason this is useful is we can clip across here like I have here, look, and bring the leads out to my multimeter here, set the multimeter to milliamps or millivolts in this, this case, and read off, in this case, 36 millivolts. Now by Ohm's law, 36 millivolts across a 1 ohm resistor is 36 milliamps, it's just a straight transition. So 1 amp through 1 ohm is 1 volt very simple little formula. So we have 36 millivolts across 1 ohm, we've got 36 milliamps. And that's exactly what we want for this amp, that's perfectly okay. Don't sweat it, anything between 35 and 38 is perfectly okay. And then just adjust, what, whilst watching that, just adjust the relevant um, multi-turn pot. Then take the clips and put them onto this 1 ohm resistor and just repeat that, make sure they're both the same. Now also notice on this amp there's a hum balance pot here. I haven't had a twiddle with that. So I guess you have a little listen to how what the hum's like. And turn this. Don't know whether I can get my little trimmer on there. Yes, it's on there now. So I'll just have a little twiddle. Can't hear any, any difference at all. Nothing much in it, to be honest with you. Wouldn't worry in Julie about that. And there you are, that's job done for this amp. Quite simple. It's quite nice when you have a 1 ohm resistor here. It allows you to clip across. If you don't have that, of course, you have to have a bias meter, which you put on the other side of the amp. So there you go, job done for this amp. Fairly simple to bias. And here we are, just a quick look for you at the top side of this amp. Two power valves, six preamp valves. Um mains transformer, output transformer, and choke. Okay, there you go, nice and simple. They've provided two bias pots and multi-turn pots, no less. So well done, Orange. Nice and easy to uh, bias the amp. Also, they've given you those 1 ohm resistors in the tails, which means you don't have to use a bias meter. Nice work, Orange. I'm very impressed, and hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you on the next one.